Okay, guys. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about um, t uh, reading the tongues, the tongue flicks of your hogno snakes. So we've gone over a little bit about what's the body language like and understanding your hognose body language. But today, we're going to focus on the tongue flicks, right? Um, so you have all kinds of different personalities within the hognoses. You have some that are calm. You have some that are a little bit more aggressive and or defensive, sorry. And you can tell a lot by how long the tongue flicks are and also how, how, how frequent, it, you know, it comes out, you know, in and out. So without any further ado, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at him. So let's just open one up. Okay. And right now he's got no tongue flip. Okay. You see that really long one. So that's what you want to see. You want to see curiosity. So he's just curious. He's really sticking out that tongue, right? So he's just trying to get, uh, he's just trying to get a sense of what's going on. And you notice that he stopped. Okay. He stopped with the tongue flicks. That means that he's in a defensive state. So he's not going to be taking out his tongue. He already identified what it is that's going into his enclosure. He's just curious. Okay. And right now, he's got that short tongue flick. You see that short tongue flick? That means he's in defensive. All right. So let's go look at another one. So this one, okay. This one has no tongue flick. It's just straight defensive, uh, defensive mode. Okay, you have the tongue right there, and it's short. It's not long. It's a sh it's a short flick. It's in and out, in and out. A short flick. You see that? So it's a short flick. It's not that. You know, it doesn't come out that far. So that means it's just defensive. Okay. So that's what you want to watch out for. If a snake, if a snake has that sh uh, short tongue flick then it's 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 defensive so like for instance let's see what's going on here so let's just see okay so you tell me guys is it short or long yep it's short it's not it's not really it's not it, it's it's defensive so okay now it's longer you see how i got my finger closer it's longer it's trying to identify whether what's going on, like what's that finger. So you got that long, suddenly you got that bluff strike. And then and then it goes back to just being a short, a fast uh, tongue flick. So let's just see what happens. Yeah. So you see that, that short tongue flick right there? So that, that obviously means it's uh, defensive, right? It's defensive. So just uh, you could tell a lot by the tongue flicks of the snake. Let's see what's going on here. So this one obviously has no tongue flick. So it's not curious. It's more defensive if you ask me. Okay, so let's see what's going on. You got that. You got that tongue flick. So that to me is a very short tongue flick. You see? So it's got that short tongue flick. It's not really curious. It's just defensive. And sorry about my birds, guys. I just, we like birds. We like snakes. We like all kinds of animals. So she's in shed. Okay, so let's see if she has any tongue flicks. Okay, yeah, those are short tongue flicks right there. Short. Short tongue flicks. She's not having it. She's not having it one bit. You see? Short, short, short. She's just like, leave me alone. So that's what you know. That's how you know that a snake is not really up for curiosity. So what's going on here? He's hooded up. Um, he's got no tongue flick. So he's just going to go straight into bluff. But he's a cute little noodle. You got, you got the long tongue flicks. And then you got no tongue flicks. So that's an automatic sign that it knows not to be curious so what happens if i put my finger it's probably gonna smell it you see that short tongue flick right there the short tongue flick yeah so that's the short uh, tongue flick so the short and fast that's what you guys want to look out for on a defensive hog nose all right let's just keep looking guys we're having fun right we're having fun trying to identify what kind of mood they're in so let's look at this noodle. 
Okay, short and fast, short and fast. Oh, he, he made me jump. Short and fast. So that's what you want to look out for. Yeah, most of the time, they just want to be left alone. So let's just see what kind of observe. So he's not doing any tongue flicks. But if I put my finger in, in, the, in the view. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? So he knows that he's not he's not getting fed. They're just short and fast, so he's not in feeding mode. He's not in feeding mode. He's not gonna take a bite. You see that really short short tongue flick? That just means that he he he's not curious. He already understands what's going on, and he's in a defensive state. So we just keep touching him. We just keep touching him, and let's just see what happens. Yeah, he's just being nice about it. You know, he's just being. There you go. <laughs> Leave me alone. And after he bluff strikes. You got the short tongue flicks right there. He wants to be left alone. So sh uh, short tongue flicks means they're about to to bluff strike or they just want to be left alone. Like for instance, let's see what's going on with this gal. So what 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 mood is it in? You know, you got that. Let's see what kind of tongue flicks it's coming out. Okay. You got that long. There you go. You see that long tongue flick right there? That means it's trying to get uh, trying to get a better understanding of it, of what's going on. So that's what you want to see. You want to see that long tongue flick. All right. And then obviously I'm going to hold it. It's going to bluff strike. But after I after I hold it and calm it down, I'm just going to hold it for a few minutes and then I'll get back to you guys to see what happens. Okay, guys. So I've handled it for a few minutes and now it's calm in my hands. It's not hooded up. I can touch the face and just look at the tongue flicks. Look at the tongue flicks. Beautiful. They're beautiful. Long. That means the snake is happy. The snake is happy. So it's going to have those long tongue flicks. It's not hooding up. That's exactly what you want to see. So when you handle a snake, that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see the long tongue flicks. So I don't know how many times I'm going to say it in the video, but <laughs> long tongue flicks. That's what you want to see. And that means your snake is happy. It's comfortable. It understands. It's it's just it's just curious. It's exploring. You know that's what that's what that means right there. If it if you irritate it, or if you do something to lose its 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 trust, then it's gonna have a short uh, short uh, flick and it's gonna hood up, right? So you just wanna keep seeing the long tongue flicks right there. So you you see that? Just it's just curious. All right, let's hold another one. All right, and check this guy out. So you tell me, what 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 mood is he in? Obviously, he's got no tongue flicks. Okay, guys. So when that happens, you know that it's not comfortable. You know it's not okay. He's not curious. He's not uh, he's not gonna tolerate you handling him. Any snake, any snake. When you don't have that tongue flick. You meet you you know to back up you know something's up right there, so you see, <laughs> uh, it always kind of makes me jump. But there you go. Now he's got the long tongue flicks, and you're okay. So at that point, okay, there you go. He changed, right? He changed. So he he did long, 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 and now he's doing short. He did one short. So if you touch him, he's probably going to make me jump. But You see that, sh that short tongue flick? Okay, now it's going, let's see. Now it's go go getting a little bit. There you go. There you go. That's a long one. That's a long one. So you're okay. You're okay at that point. Miranda. You okay? You're good. So this is a very defensive snake. So let's just happen. You little, we act a little crazy. It gets a little scared. It gets a little scared. What's going on? What's going on? You, you still have that long tongue flick, right? So you're okay. Everything's good. Everything's good. So yeah, guys, that's a little bit about how to read tongues. Um, I, It's kind of a long video, guys, and I apologize, but uh, we're trying to have fun here and and just trying to read uh, hog nose. So every, every hog nose is going to be different. You just got to read its body language, read its... It's how many tongue flicks, you know, and you'll be good. You'll be good. And each one is going to be different. So just have fun with the guys. And, and just for an extra bonus, like, you know, I don't just have um, hog noses. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at this snake 
and see if we could read its body language. Okay, so this is not a hognose snake. Okay, and it's under there. So, let's read its body language. How are the tongue flicks? How are the tongue flicks, okay? So I know if I stick my finger in there, then it's gonna get a little bit uh, defensive. It, it's actually defensive right there. So I got a hook. Okay. So what kind of state is it in? So at that point, you don't want to stick your hand and grab it. I mean, you can, and it'll it'll probably switch out of that mo that mood. Um, knowing me, I would do it. But um, if you're if you're understanding and trying to learn how to read your snake's uh, tongue flicks and body language, you don't want to stick your hand in there. Okay. So what happens if I you know put the hook right there? I touch it. So you want that long tongue flick. That's what you want to see. There you go. So that's a short. That's a short. Short. You see that? That mean okay. That means if it was your hand. Okay. You saw that long tongue flick right there. That's what you want to see. But you want to see more, more frequently right there. Right there. There you go. There you go. So that's what you want to see. As a, as a, uh, as soon as you see those long tongue flicks, you could go ahead and pick it up. There you go. There you go, you see? And then once you pick it up, you see those long tongue flicks right there? Just beautiful. Beautiful. That's exactly what you want to see. And you know it's not going to bite you. Hey, amor. And then there you go, you see? Um, and my daughter just came in and she's holding it. She's uh, touching the, you know, the face. So those are the long, beautiful tongue flicks that you guys want to see. Nicely done. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, hope this uh, video helped you guys out. And then just go ahead and put it back. So that was a nice interaction with the snake. And that's exactly what we want to see. So 